Well, let's get into picking these games for you and hopefully helping out your parlays for the weekend. We've already picked the Thursday night football game, which is currently going on uh, as we're watching it. The Bills are up 24 to 10 on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Who Our first game, me. Uh, oh, game's not goodness. over. 14 minutes left. Uh, I'm, I'm, how big is the spread? Nine and a half? Uh, eight and a half. Eight, eight and a half. half. Oh. They'll make it back. Don't worry. Uh, first game at noon here on Sunday, we have got the Eagles who will head into Washington and play the commies at home. Commies are seven point dogs. I am taking the Eagles here. And we're in uh, Washington. Yep. Give me the commies. They must be, they took them to overtime last time. Hate to side with Sean here, but the conference or the division matchup between the commanders and the Eagles as of late has been super competitive. Uh, don't know why, because the Eagles should be the much better team. I'll be giving the commies to cover. Moving into our next game at noon, we have got Mac Jones and the Patriots coming off of a solid win against the Bills. Heading to Miami and taking on Tua and the Dolphins, who at home are nine-point favorites. Tyreek Hill has come up a little lame in practice, but it is reported that he will play. Uh, and, yeah, lightning doesn't strike twice. Give me the Dolphins. Did they already play this year? Uh, they have played this yeah. year. It was early in the season. Uh, the, the end – Seven I, points. I, yeah, and uh, uh, Waddle was also out that game. Oh, Dolphins thing. What did you, you say the spread was? Seven? Nine. Nine. Dolphins are favored by nine. Okay, give me Patriots to do that thing. We'll get to our first game, our, our first game of the week here in the noon hour. It is the Rams who will head into Dallas and take on the Cowboys at home. The boys are six point favorites. I'm going to take the Rams to cover. Give me the boys. I was taking the Rams already, but I didn't say it out loud, but I wanted to Rams all day. <laughs> Up next at noon, we have got. Kirko Chains and the Vikings heading into Green Bay for a divisional matchup, taking on the Packers. At home, the Packers are only one and a half point favorites. I think the Vikings will keep it rolling. Jordan Addison will have another fantastic week. Give me the Vikings. Yeah, you said this was a noon game as well? Yep. Uh, Primetime noon game, Kirk. Give me the Vikings. And the spread's only one, so you're basically just picking the winner, right, guys? Uh yeah, I mean it's one and a half. Gonna, but yeah, pretty I'll, much. I'll stick with the Vikings. We'll go to our second game of the week here. Still in the noon, in the noon hour, we have got the Jaguars who will head into Pennsylvania and take on the Pittsburgh Steelers at home. Steelers are two and a half point dogs. And they could if they go into Pennsylvania, they could also be going to Philadelphia. They could, but they're going to Pittsburgh. Whoa. Oh. Give me the Jags. Like I said earlier, I figured Mike Tomlin out. He's an underdog in this one. He's great against the spread. Give me the Steelers. Double that up. Uh, I I still like the Steelers. Kenny Pickett, the, the small hands is comical, but their defense is pretty neat. Our next game here is the New York Showdown. The Jets will stay at home, but not be the home team because they're going to be playing the Giants, who will be the home team in this matchup. At home, the Giants are two and a half point dogs. They played really well against the Bills uh, last week in a tightly contested game, but it was on short notice as it was a Thursday. So give me the Jets to roll them. Yeah, give me the Jets as well. Giants are not good. Tyrod Taylor, just think this this should have been Aaron Rodgers playing in this game in the New York showdown. NFL was like totally banking on. Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm taking the Giants. In this next game, we have got the battle of the rookie quarterbacks. 
CJ Stroud and the Texans head into Carolina to take on Bryce Love and the Panthers. Fine. Young. Fine. I always want to say Jesus love. Christ. I always want to say love. I always keep thinking of that running back from Stanford. Uh, I don't care about your argument about how much you talk. You you just literally fuck up the most. Well, That's I why don't you get like fine so much. <laughs> I don't I don't like him either. Uh Panthers at home, three and a half point dogs. Let me take the Texans. Yeah, I'm sticking with CJ on this one, man. He is going to be the much better pick for this year. Maybe not the long run. CJ is killing it. No interception game. Texans. So, what? and the Texans are favored by three? Is, is, is and that a correct? And a half. Uh, this is going to be a, a close game. Give me the Panthers. It's going to be within three close. points. It's going to be within three points. Couple games left here at noon. We've got the Atlanta Falcons who will head into Tennessee, who is currently on fire, and take on the Titans at home. Titans three point dogs. Easy enough. Give me the birds. That's a three point dogs. You said three point dogs. Give me the Falcons. They're two and a half against the spread, but I'm feeling it this week. Oh God! Yeah. Okay. Uh, Falcons. When you Last... said the Titans are on fire, like, what did you mean by that? Uh, it, it's a fire sale. Like everything is burning okay. over there, and they're trying <laughs> to ship everyone you. off. Der- right. Derrick Henry is clarifying. Yeah. Derrick Henry is currently rumored to either go to the Ravens or the Cowboys in a trade. Uh, which trade deadline next week should be fun on Halloween, right? Uh, maybe instead of on fire, you could have like phrased that just like they were like burning from the inside out. So. I worded it the way I worded it. Right. Next up at noon, we have got the Saints who head into Indianapolis and take on the Colts. At home, Colts are one point dogs. Give me the Colts to win this one. The Saints lose last week. Did they get embarrassed? Uh, that's really- a question. That Last really, week uh, they played. Pay attention to that, fellas. They lost to the Jaguars. So yes, give me the right. Saints. They're going to have a bounce back. They lost two in a row. They're about to have one win. Where's this game being played? I wasn't. Indy. Is the roof uh, opener closed? That's a fine. I'll take. All right. What? We'll find out. All right. You're All notorious right. for asking questions that have been answered. Not answered, but like I haven't given my answer yet. Uh, Colts. First game in the three o'clock hour here. It is the Browns led by PJ Walker heading into Seattle, taking on the Seahawks at home. The Hawks are three and a half point dogs. We do not know if Kenneth Murray will. Or excuse me, three and a half point favorites. Wow, dude. He's just, he's in his head. Uh, (laughs) We do not know if Kenneth Walker is playing. He has been out the last two days. Uh, Either way, ooh, this is a tough one. Uh, Man, if Kenneth Walker plays, it's a totally different game. Uh, Give me the Seahawks. It is a totally different game if he plays. I believe that. But Zach Charbonnet's in there, so it'll be fine. Give me the Hawks. Then I will take the Browns. The Browns won last time. So they're going to do it again. Next game in the 3 o'clock hour is the Chiefs versus the Broncos, but we have already picked that game. If you have not heard it, go back and listen to our Chiefs preview show. So our next Please. game in the 3 At o'clock hour. Show on all platforms. The Baltimore Ravens will head in. At Bob and Bo's show. Speak over. Speak Arizona. At, at all Bob platforms. And take on the Cardinals. At home, Cardinals are nine and a half point dogs. And they have been following that trend since the beginning of the season when they played well and beat the Cowboys. Give me the Ravens. Ravens. Ah. <sighs> I'm either going to have a really good record this week or I'm going to have a really bad record. This week. Give me Cardinals to cover. 
Last game of the three o'clock hour. It is our final game of the week. We've got the Cincinnati Bengals. We'll head into San Francisco, take on Sam Darnold and the 49ers. 49ers. Oh, that's at confirmed. Home. He's in Pretty concussion much. protocol. There has not been a quarterback who in the same week has been put in concussion protocol that has come out of concussion well, protocol and been able to play. It was it was first discovered on like the plane ride home. It wasn't like in game or anything like that. So like this could be like super mild. Like I don't know. They the NFL has been much better about protecting concussion protocols. Uh, it could be mild, but I would assume uh, no quarterback has done it this year that that has got a got a concussion, got into protocol, and played. That sucks season. for the Niners. That's. <laughs> Uh, Niners are four point favorites at home. Give me the Bengals. Oh, Niners! I believe in Sam Darnold and San Fran. I also i I want the Bengals to win this. It's weird. It's weird to say, but I do want the Bengals to win. Our Sunday night football game is going to be an awful one, as we've got. The Chicago Bears heading into SoFi Stadium to take on the Chargers. We do not yet know if Justin Fields will be back, but it does not seem like he will be. Tyler, I think his name's Tyler, right? Tyler? Or uh, uh, whatever. Uh, Badgent. Against. <laughs> no, it's Badgent. I I incorrectly stated like prior pageant. to the game. Do you, do you guys know his dad was a like 37-time arm wrestler? 37-time national champion. 37 time national champion. Wow. One one with his right and left. Wow. What a boss. Who owns the craziest bar ever? It's an arm wrestling bar in Virginia. (laughs) That's pretty cool. His name is Uh, Tyson. Tyson. (laughs) Tyson. Badgins. Uh, Chargers at home are eight and a half point favorites. It's a large spread. Uh, Bears actually played pretty well, but it was against the Raiders last week. Chargers, uh, Chargers pick it up this week. Uh, I'm gonna give you a surprise here. I'm going with the Bears. It's a lot of points. They can cover that. Yeah. How big is your starting quarterback? How big is it? How big is it? Eight and a half. Eight and a half. Eight and a half. Oh. Nah, I think. I think the Chargers bounce back. Charger, Charger, Charger. Last game of NFL Week 8. Why is that the Sunday night game, guys? Hold on. Why is that the Sunday night game? The Bears are supposed to be good. They were supposed (laughs) to be good. (laughs) Well, you'll be really surprised on why this is the Monday night football game because we have the Las Vegas Raiders who will head into Detroit take on the Lions. At home... The Lions are eight-point favorites. After getting absolutely mollywopped last week, they're going to return the favor to the Raiders, who I still believe are without Jimmy Garoppolo. So give me the Lions. Uh, he will be back for the game on Monday, oh, surprisingly. And this is the first Lions Monday Night Football game since, I believe, 2018. So this is going to be a big moment for them. They're going to come out and mollywop the Raiders. Let me just say, Monday Night Football hasn't been anything since John Madden left. And I think uh, the NFL has done right by specifically putting kind of bad games on Monday night. And they know what they're doing. But I want the Lions to walk all over the Raiders. So give me the Lions. There you have it for our NFL Week 8 picks.